I'm Mike Conyers. Uh, I am the Director of Line Worker Safety and Training for Missouri Public Utility Alliance. I teach a four-year apprentice program. I have about 180 students travel uh, just about every day. The main issue with Mike is he was becoming more fatigued. He's a very active person, and so he knew something was wrong because he couldn't be himself. Three years ago, when I was having a lot of problems, it made travel really hard for me. Uh, it was hard to fly on airplanes because I couldn't breathe, hard to stay in hotels. I couldn't sleep at night, I couldn't lay down. Most of the time I sat just like I am right now, straight up. I coughed constantly, all the time. It's just really rough whenever you see the person that you love struggling, couldn't lay flat and just have to come up out of the bed very quickly because he felt like he was, you know, couldn't breathe. Began to develop some swelling in my legs. The urgent care ran a Doppler of my left leg where it was hurt and found a blood clot. They did a CT scan and found multiple blood clots in my lungs. Based on a cardiac cath procedure, we found that he had severe heart blockages, coronary disease. Uh, eventually, Mike ended up needing open heart surgery and bypass surgery. Going in and knowing that now we're going to do open heart, that was very scary for me. He was very adamant. He was staying here. He wanted to be in Columbia. I convinced you that. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> showed you, showed you the credentials of the doctor. He did. Yes, he did. It's just that I like what I read, and what I saw, and the he compassion did. that Dr. Kumar. I did my homework. He did his homework. He did. And I did it to the T. Further testing also noted he had leaking of one of his valves. His mitral valve was leaking uh, severely. Yeah, this leaking valve can cause his uh, heart to become weaker uh, over time in the future and heart failure eventually. The decision was made by our surgeon that that too warranted fixing. From the time they took him until I saw him again, it was at least 10 hours. That was the scariest day of my life. You know, when you're 20, you think 30's old, and then 40, and then when you get to 50 and almost 60, I thought, wow, I have an open heart surgery at 59. Once I got fixed, it's changed my life a bunch. I can go, I can travel, I can do the things that I need to do, be with my family, so it doesn't bother me to travel anymore, to stay in the hotels, to fly, to do all that, because I'm not restricted. Just being able to lay down in a bed, you don't understand what it's like not to be able to sleep. What the university has done for me has, has brought me around 360 and changed my life totally from where I was before. On the weekends, we go down to the river and, and ride the Jeep and take our other son with us, Tucker. He likes to ride in the back seat. We, we finally, you know, got answers. We can get on with life now. We spend all of our time together. We've been married over 40 years, met in high school, so um, we do just about everything together. There's a lot of people like myself, 59 years old, that never thought I would ever have to have surgery. And here I am with a new lease on life. <laughs>